Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is OS X El Capitan. El Capitan is the latest version of OS X that's available on September 30th, when you're probably watching this or later, it should already be available for free in the App Store. It supports a wide variety of Macs and older Macs and should bring quite a few improvements as far as speed and reliability. Basically, Yosemite which is where El Capitan is, is a place within California, and within Yosemite is El Capitan. And El Capitan is basically a, a refinement of what Yosemite was. So it's a performance improvement. There's now Metal, which is the underlying code, basically, that runs graphics on the Mac. There's also quite a few things that enhance stability. But let's talk about the things you can actually see. Here I have pages open, and if you're familiar with previous versions of OS X, they have mission control. You can access that using the F3 key on your keyboard, and if you want to see that a little more clearly using a shortcut, you can use three or four fingers, swipe up on the trackpad, and you get the view. What they've done this year is make this a single layer, so nothing's layering over one another. As you add windows, this fans out, and you can see everything at once. The other thing they've done is add split screens, or, spl or split view as they call it. So if I make this full screen, swipe up, and you can see this is here, but maybe I want to research while using pages. If I drag this in here, I can drag this on either half, as you see here, let go, and now we have it split screen, and we can drag this, and we can use split view. So you can see we can scroll up and down on either one, and they work really well. Really similar to how Microsoft does it on the Surface, but it works really well on the Mac as well. This is actually, for those of you wondering, this is actually recording using QuickTime on a MacBook, 2015 MacBook. So this is working pretty well and I'm recording at the same time. Aside from mission control and split view, Apple's also updated Spotlight. So if we slide over here, we've got our little search glass we can go into, which is Spotlight, or we can hit Command Space and that's Spotlight. Now we can search for things like weather, stock, web video, or search using questions saying documents I worked on last week. So documents from last week. And let's see what pops up. So you can see here's some things with keywords and links on some things uh, from a video I explained with 3D Touch. So you've got that, and that just pops right up. And Spotlight can do other things as well, but I didn't want to go into too many of those, but it's really nice. You can just ask in your own word what you're looking for, and it will find it. Related to Kino, any different apps you have, everything else, especially as apps get updated for El Capitan, it should be really nice. I won't go into it too much, but I thought I'd just mention that Mail also allows you to use full screen support a little bit better, has some swipe gestures in Mail that make quick work of correspondence according to Apple. Notes has been updated too, it now allows for drawing and a little bit more thorough notes. So if we click here and create a new note, uh, we can name it, this is a new note. And maybe we want to add a photo to it or something like that. We can now do that. So let's go to the finder. Within the finder on the desktop, I took a little screenshot. So let's paste that in here. And then we can use it like this. And we've got all these different options to add a photo or video. Here you can see create a note, delete obviously. We can browse attachments. And it's really a pretty thorough note application now. And I think they really updated this for the new iPad Pro that you can see here uh, to allow you to use it as a thorough note taking application. Within Photos, it now includes third-party editing. So those really aren't available yet, but if you've got the Photos app, which most of you do if you have Yosemite, and instead of going from here into another application to edit your photos, you can edit it right from here. It's really nice. There's not a whole lot to show you there, but they've made everything a little bit more simplistic as far as that goes. One of the great things built into El Capitan and Safari is the ability to let you know where sound is coming from. So say I'm on another website and here's my YouTube channel and I'll play this video and it's playing in the background. What happens is, is this little speaker pops up here letting you know there's sound. Now it says mute other tabs if I mouse over it or right here it lets me know that the sound is coming from that tab even though I'm not on that tab. So I'm on Apple's website and you can see here is a little speaker. So I can click that and it will mute it. If I wanna unmute it, I click it and this will show it for any single tab that's open. So maybe you have an annoying pop-up in the background playing, you can just simply mute it and it will go away. Apple has updated maps with transit info. So here's Manhattan, New York City. We can zoom in here. And if we click on this little information point here, 
we can see the different information. I'm quite a ways away from there, but you can see all of the different sites, everything right in maps, and it will also give us transit information. So you can see how here's all the different subway lines, and you can get information regarding each one of those. So you can see there's 23rd Street, and you can see all the different times every 10 minutes it's really nice they've added this for all major cities although i'm not really sure on the list where it's available yet but obviously it's in new york city and hopefully some other large cities around the world there isn't a whole lot more that you can see on the surface that's been changed other than the font that's now san francisco it's the new default font throughout the operating system other than that we basically have a very similar refined operating system with a lot of under the hood changes for stability and speed. So that should be something that a lot of people will really appreciate. Even on older Macs, I think you'll see greater speed, especially with graphics and things like that, now that they're using their new metal system. Now there is one more thing I forgot to mention. It does support Japanese fonts and inputs. So people overseas or people that use Japanese fonts and inputs uh, or Chinese fonts, those are all available and there's a lot more improved language support in this version of OS 10. So that's a nice little addition they have there so everything else looks pretty similar I just wanted to show you the different screen savers or wallpapers that are built in rather you can see there's the new beach ball and here's some new wallpapers built in so there's not a whole lot just a few right here that we have built in we can change them I'll just go through them for you I think that's the default one or Yosemite rather there's another one all really nice shots that come with it. And I think that's pretty much it. From what I've seen of other people's reviews that got it out early, it's definitely worth the upgrade. It's rock solid. I've actually been running it in beta for a long time, and it's been solid since probably the second or third third beta it's really really been a really nice upgrade so I think most people will be really happy now there may be some incompatibilities so I'm not sure about those yet and you may want to wait if you have something major that you run but other than that it's been pretty good so if you haven't downloaded it yet it's a free download as long as your Mac is supported be sure to check it in the App Store and if you have any questions or comments about things you think are major or even minor that I missed let me know in the comments below if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe as always thanks for watching this is Aaron I'll see you next time.